Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Rose Smith from AbsoluteSoulSecrets.com. Thanks for joining me for the Passionate Pisces February horoscope for 2022. Okay, so a couple of important things are happening this month. Uh, firstly, Mercury is turning direct on the third of the month. There's a little thing called a shadow period for a few days uh, where the energy is gradually getting stronger and stronger of Mercury direct. Venus has already turned direct on the 29th of January and uh, you actually have Venus and uh, Mercury in your 11th house of friends, groups and connections. Uh, so this implies having the two of them there, especially when they were both retrograde, that uh, there was some difficulty perhaps in communications with friends uh, or lovers, important uh, people you know that you have relationships with, there might have been some sort of hindrance. Uh, but um, yeah, it, it starts to clear early February, so that'll that'll help you move forward in life. Now, uh, the other sort of uh, strange thing that happened last month was in some places, people got to new moons. Okay, to uh, the second new moon was known as a dark moon on the 31st of the month. So that means in February, those countries, those places, they don't get a new moon because they've already had it in January. So if you're west of um, Chicago uh, in the States uh, or Western Canada, Mexico or uh, South America, then you had two new moons in January and there'll be no new moon in February. But that's okay, it's only a day, so it doesn't really matter. But it's just one of those interesting things. Now, just briefly, uh, I'll just tell you what I do. I like to draw two tarot cards as theme cards for the month for you. I'll have a look at your horoscope in depth and then I'll do a psychic channeling at the end. So stick around for that. And uh, if you're new, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that notification bell right now. Let's go to the board and see what the cards have to say. Firstly, this is your horoscope. We'll come to in a moment. You can see there's a bit happening. Alrighty, so the first card, the first half of the month for passionate Pisces. That's what we're looking at. I'll go with that one on top. No, I won't. I'll go with that one underneath. Okay, closing my eyes now. Okay, there's a door in front of me, but it's closed. There's a little bit of light uh, sort of leaking through. This door is going to open, but it's a matter of being patient. It's not going to open straight away. So you have to wait a little bit, basically. So just be patient. There's some kind of celebration on the other side. It's like spirit is applauding you uh, for your patience and your efforts. The card that uh, has come out is the Eight of Cups. She's moving forward and early February will all start to move forward again because with Mercury and Venus retrograde at the, sum, uh, at the same time, it affects a lot of people and, uh, you know, there's a lot of um, ups and downs uh, that can be created by that. But um, you'll see she's dressed in green because it's growth and opportunity. We have the dark moon here that I just talked about. Uh, some places have two in January and none in February. And uh, the cups are the different areas of life. So eight of cups is often about power. Sometimes it's about money as well. The right and proper use of money and power. You're on your way, Pisces. Okay, so that's good news. Let's have a look at the second half for white butterfly. I just flew past the window. That's a good sign for spiritual enlightenment and... Uh, it was a sort of smaller butterfly, so young, a young butterfly. So there's some sort of turning a corner or something um, immature that is growing within you, perhaps. All right, let's have a look at the second half of the month. And what do I see? I see rocks in front of me and it's like um, hard labor digging these rocks. It's like you've been persistent or determined in something, perhaps. Uh, and you've had to do the hard yards to get to where you are now. But you know what? In these rocks, there's diamonds. So keep doing what you're doing because you're going to get there eventually. The card that comes up is the Knight of Wands. This card's been coming up a fair bit lately. Uh, this is about exploring your... Uh, sorry, it's not wands, it's swords. This is what happens when you read without glasses. But I don't know that it matters because in my mind, I've said that for a reason. 
uh, which implies that there's some motivation or inspiration in your thoughts. Swords are all about uh, thoughts, your, your mental constructs, the things that you decide in your mind, the decisions you make are going to bring you freedom. See, he's on the back of an eagle. You'll be able to look at the big, big picture and understand what is going on. He has a sword because he can cut out the dross. He can cut out the stuff that isn't important. And uh, you may find that um, somebody comes into your life that has a very precise mental uh, definition of an issue, perhaps someone like a lawyer who can cut straight through to the chase, okay? The Knight of Swords. This is great news because this energy can really help you. Okay, so they're the cards. So just bear them in mind. Now I'm going to make this bigger uh, so you can see better about what's going on. I'll put them on the side off and they come up during, during the actual horoscope. Okay, so it's what we call an independent chart because you have a lot happening on the eastern side of the wheel. And um, this is about you relying on your own resources. Uh, Spirit is going to give you the energy to do that. You don't need other people so much because it's more about you. Mercury retrograde in your 11th house here, I've already talked about. And here you'll see uh, Venus and Mercury together. Okay, Mercury um, will be catching up gradually to Venus and, the, uh, and they will become conjunct uh, this month. It's, what, um, 13 degrees apart at the moment. So this is going to get stronger and stronger. And they'll both be direct. And so that means that there's going to be beautiful, harmonious relationships with other people and lots of communications and ideas. These people are going to help you with their ideas. So that'll be fabulous. New Moon, I've already talked about. Uh, and... Um, I haven't put it in but it'll be here in your sign the new moon will be here in your sign the first house uh, if you're in eastern Canada the US Mexico South America UK Europe Australia New Zealand and with a new moon there that brings new beginnings around your beliefs your identity um, your core values uh, it becomes more about you Okay, and uh, that's another confirmation to all of these planets on this side of the wheel, uh, and it adds to your independence. Jupiter is um, conjuncting your ascendant seven degrees, okay, and uh, as everything turns, then uh, you'll find that this is getting stronger and stronger. It brings good luck, okay, conjuncting your ascendant. It brings growth. It brings opportunity. Also brings weight gain if you're not careful. So do watch that uh, because everything about Jupiter is bigger. Uh, but it's luck. You know, you could find inci incidences where you have good luck or something out of the blue happens and it's pleasantly surprising. Okay. And the ruler Neptune here, it continues in your sign very slowly because it spends roughly 14 or 15 years in every house so uh, you know still a long way to go there so that's adding to your intuition your psychic ability um, art music creativity all right let's have a look at this uh, in depth now the 31st or the 1st of february depending on your location sees a new moon in your 12th house okay 12th not first 12th okay that's about your spirituality and um, this means that you're more apt to be especially sensitive moody you need more privacy and solitude than usual you may wish to shield yourself from the problems of other people you need time out basically it's a great time for peaceful meditation contemplation and spiritual renewal from the 30th of January to the 8th of February, Mercury retrograde conjuncts Mercury. And especially after the 3rd of February, you're likely to be more alert, mentally sharp and clear. You can comprehend new concepts more easily. You can articulate your ideas very well. And it's a great time to make plans and 
maybe pursue a course of study. You might, you might be thinking about that. The 4th to the 7th of the month sees Mars square in Chiron. Uh, now be careful here because it causes like intense feelings to come up from the subconscious and um, there could be something that's brewing underneath and uh, you know it doesn't require very much to set it off it's a bit like a volcano or even you know like an iceberg uh, one eighth above the water and seven eighths under the water there's a lot going on underneath in your subconscious it is time to try and heal past wounds to forgive others and yourself most importantly if you can if you have trouble because i know forgiveness is very you know it's not always easy if you have trouble with the idea of forgiveness say to spirit i am willing to forgive that's like a first step i am willing uh, you know i can't do it at the moment but i'm trying if you just say i am willing that will shift the energy uh, then we have 7th to the 10th Mars conjuncting Venus. This is great for new relationships. It stirs up romantic uh, passions and strong sexual feelings. You may find that you feel quite compelled to be with another person. If you're not in a relationship, you, you're more likely to be bold and make the first move. Uh, and if you're not interested, then creative and artistic pursuits are likely uh, now. 9th of February to the 12th of February, Mercury conjuncts Pluto. And um, this is a time when you really want to dig down deep inside you. It's like you feel uh, compelled to probe until you get to the bottom of a situation. Mysteries, unsolved riddles and topics that people normally sweep under the carpet. Uh, these may, might be on your mind now. And... Um, the only thing is when you're speaking make sure that you're not so insistent uh, that the, it turns the other person off basically because you could feel quite strongly about something 9th of february to the 12th of february uh oh i just said that one 12th of february to the 20th of february jupiter sextiles uranus this is fabulous it's a very upbeat positive time uh you could enjoy jovial get-togethers um, associations with other people co-workers businesses that you conduct conduct business with are now ready and willing to talk to you about making progressive changes the only thing is if uh, people don't like change they're not going to like this influence because change is on the cards here uh, but um, it is progressive changes not regressive so the changes are likely to be quite positive and helpful there's new ideas, maybe even inventions, new ways of doing things, developments, you know, so it's a bit exciting. You could also participate in a social change group, uh, which gathers considerable interest from the public. Mercury in the 12th house from the 13th of February to the 9th of Mar March here. And uh, this is time a good time for study and quiet reflection your intuition and sensitivity to the hidden behind the scenes aspects of a situation uh, it's operating quite strongly now and you might find it's less likely that you'll speak up you don't you know really want to speak out it's about biding your time and wait and see type of attitude 6th of february the full moon in your seventh house here uh, since all relationships need some attention uh, to remain healthy and strong it's a great idea now to devote time and uh, devote time and attention to your important relationships and your ties with women and the need to connect with important females in your life uh, is emphasized now there could be something happening with legalities as well if you have a legal matter some sort of development there that at first might seem a bit sort of turbulent uh, but something's coming up uh, to deal with and you will deal with it 13th of february to the 22nd of february jupiter sextiles venus this is fabulous for your personal relationships and friendships you can share your feelings and concerns openly and honestly with other people and you're more likely to receive uh, helpful suggestions from others as well. If there's a situation that's a bit uncomfortable, uh, two butterflies just went past. 
I've seen so many butterflies lately. Uh, I think their numbers must be on the increase, but two yellow ones went past. Uh, and so this is solar plexus and it's about goal oriented behavior. It's about authority figures that are helpful and generous and basically new life. Uh, so if there's a person you do feel uncomfortable with, uh, you can find there's some sort of easing of the tension between you, uh, which is welcome news. Uh, business dealings and professional associations are also blessed and any contracts that are signed are likely to work out successfully for all parties. The 17th to the 20th of March, the sun in your sign, uh, so the sun's moving from the 12th house down to here into your sign and I want to say happy birthday to you. Now is the time to make a strong statement to the world and your presence has a more noticeable effect on other people. You can make a strong positive impression and people recognize you and follow your lead. At least they stay out of your way and they don't hinder you, so that's good. You're likely to feel more confident and vital now. 14th to the 23rd, Jupiter squares your MC, so you could try to significantly improve your work and career at this time you could seek a new job or maybe ask for a pay increase. You feel ready and fit for a better situation. Uh, the only thing about this is watch for overconfidence because Jupiter sometimes can be excessive. Uh, so this is a transition that you're going to make uh, but don't be overconfident about um, the outcome. And um, the other thing is your appearance, your manner mannerisms and attitudes are very important at the a moment. So you might um, spend some time on those. 21st to the 24th, Venus sextiles Neptune. This is beautiful. It's all about harmony, beauty and kindness. You feel uh, helpful and gentle towards other people and they treat you the same way. And uh, if you do make some sort of selfless effort for somebody else, you'll, you'll be very happy doing that. 16th to the 6th of March, Saturn conjuncts Moon. Okay, so with Saturn, uh, there could be some self-doubt or criticism. Feelings of isolation might come up. Now, if you're older uh, and depending on your age, you know, like after menopause perhaps, uh, then this might be so strong. If you're younger, it's probably going to be more strong. And um, you might feel that other people don't really understand you. See, when you're older, you really don't care <laughs> that much, perhaps. Um, you know, you're more focused on what you want to do rather than what other people think about you, perhaps. Uh, it is a great time uh, to have some privacy, take long walks, have a lot of quiet time on your own. Uh, it's time for self-introspection and reflection and try to keep your uh, you know, sense of humour. That's always important. It is time to discard the old familiar patterns of behaviour that don't serve you well and begin to develop new patterns. Uh, I know it's um, sometimes easier said than done, but um, overcome any sort of negative mindset. So watch what's going on in your head. If you notice you've got negative thoughts coming up, imagine a, a waterfall that are washing them away. Or a stop sign, or maybe a blackboard, and you just get the um, eraser or a piece of fabric or something and, and uh, wipe them off the board. 25th of February to the 28th, Mars conjuncts Mercury. Uh, this is, can be a bit dicey because you've got a lot of energy behind your words. So being tactful and diplomatic um, mightn't come as easily as, as it normally does because you're more straightforward and to the point now saying exactly what you think. Uh, so your mind is very sharp. So it's time to attack a problem, not a person. 28th of February to the 2nd of March, Sun sextiles Uranus. This is fabulous for your intuition uh, and uh, your psychic ability. Uh, being logical might be a bit difficult. You could be a bit fuzzy in your thinking now, but um, listen to your intuition because it's likely to be right. There's also something about time. It goes very quickly, so watch your time management. It's a rather inconsistent, unpredictable time, but it's interesting. 
28th of February to the 3rd of March, Mars conjuncts Pluto. This is time to maybe complete some sort of overhaul in your life. Maybe you just clean out your wardrobe or your closet. Um, you may have the best of intentions, but you could be more compulsive than usual. Especially if you're working, you might be working hard on a project and you're not even completely aware of what you're doing or why you're doing it. I know that feeling. Uh, watch for power struggles with other people. 23rd of February to the 31st of March, Chiron squares Venus. Could be an important turning point in a relationship or perhaps a job or something to do with your money. Uh, you may have difficulty being on the same page as the other person because your personal tastes and preferences are now different, or theirs are. So you're not in sync uh, at the moment. So it is time for you to have some time out on your own, as I said before. Uh, you might feel like you're coming to a crossroads uh, and you have to make some sort of decision. Will I turn left or right? What will I do? Uh, I would say don't rush. That would probably be um, my best advice in you know any decision that you're making. There's some sort of stress or tension around this, obviously, because it's a square, so it's a bit of a challenge. It's also a time when the universe is trying to um, tell you to be quieter than usual, and so social invitations that you might normally get, you probably won't get at the moment, and that's okay. Uh, so the last one is very favourable, uh, 28th of February to the 4th of April, Chiron trines your MC, you're likely to receive support and acceptance around uh, career matters uh, or your general life direction. If you're going to change something in your life, other people in some sort of authority are likely to encourage you. So very favourable and positive responses from the public as well. Your status in the community, your, the sense of prestige could increase during this time. You can benefit from sound advice and guidance of helpful and influential people. And um, if you feel you have something important to contribute to the world or society in general, you should do so now. Your ideas are likely to be creative and pioneering and it's time to use your unique skills, abilities and original talents in various ways to achieve your goals. Okay, so it's a time of accomplishment uh, then. All right, so that's it. You're moving forward away from a difficult situation and you're striking out independently now. So that's fabulous. I'm just going to close my eyes. Oh, I seem to be stuck. <laughs> I don't know why sometimes the system does that so we'll just go back uh, to the board okay I'm going to close my eyes and see what I see for you passionate Pisces for February 2022 okay so I see an elastic band and you know you can only stretch it so far and then it breaks and <laughs> then in my mind I've got the thing about elastic in your undies look you can do some sewing if you want to try and fix the situation uh, but you know that it is going to break eventually. So you've really got to make the decision, will you buy new undies or will you try and fix the elastic? You know, undies are sort of not that expensive, so maybe you can buy new ones. But you might like to recycle too because, you know, the earth, we shouldn't be taking and taking and taking from the earth all the time if we can fix something. So it's a matter for you to, uh, you know, work out what you want to do new undies or not or fix the old ones okay so that's a bit of an analogy there to your life situation uh, regarding something um, okay they're showing me a silver key you've got the key so in other words you've got the ability to change the situation they're showing me a clock at the right time it means at the appropriate time and then um, on top and then it changes to like a pocket watch and then on top of it it's got yellow it's got some ribbon yellow red and black i don't know what that means other than for australians it's the colors of the aboriginal flag uh, and um, so the time is not quite right but it's going to be soon uh, i don't know if yellow red and black has any sort of symbolic meaning but from the chakra point of view it's a solar plexus goal oriented behavior 
fatherhood figures, authority figures, um, being successful, uh, red, the root chakra, the base chakra, the energy of life, also associated with your home uh, and somewhere suitable to live, your childhood, your physical body, uh, and um, also going back to the past, um, you know, your um, family and your ancestors, black, uh, something hidden, something unknown, the subconscious. Uh, some people say evil, but I don't really believe that. Uh, evil is just something with no light. Once you bring the light of your awareness, your mind, to the situation, you focus on it, it becomes light. So it may be black, and then it comes light. But black's okay, uh, and darkness is okay uh, if you maintain your own light. You can do well. You can walk into it, and it lights up. You light up a room, okay? So, um, anything else here? Watch the weather, but I don't know where this is, but I feel it's like somewhere in the US. Um, twisters, which is a very strange time of year for a twister, I would think, because it's winter. Do you get twisters in winter? I don't think so. Um, oh, I was Texas. Okay, so we've got it narrowed down to a state. Uh, or at least it's a very dry, sandy type of place. Like, I know Texas is not just dry and sandy. I know there's all sorts of climates there. But um, anyway, that's what I'm seeing. Uh, a lot is dry. Okay. Oh, gosh. And um, floods. Floods. Um, I see umbrellas. I see rain really pelting down very strongly. Okay, so... Anyway, if you're in any area like that, stock up, get ready, and um, get your animals inside. Okay, so that's it, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm wishing you a wonderful month. And uh, if you are new, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Okay, I'll catch you all later, and uh, have a great month. Bye for now. Thanks so much for watching. Please visit my website absolutesoulsecrets.com for all things spiritual. Have a lovely day.